Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Brick House Spring Water. This is water from Maryland, and this water advertises as having a pH level of 7.5 plus. Next up is Simpson Spring Water. This is water from Massachusetts, and this advertises as having a pH level of between 6.5 and 8.5. So, these two are pretty similar bottles. They look pretty similar, similar, like, shape, similar thickness, similar size. It's identical size. They're both 16.9 milliliters. Similar pH, similar price. The Brickhouse water was $14 for a 12-pack, so it's like a dollar and 16 cents per bottle. The Simpson water was from Salacious Drinks. This was about a dollar and 59 per bottle. Uh, this one was from Amazon, I forgot to say that. But uh, they have a lot in common. They're both from states on like the east coast of the United States. And um, I'm going to open them up and do a taste test. And uh, let's just start off by opening them up and doing the taste test. Here we go. Here's the Brick House Spring Water. I've had it, several of these because I bought a 12-pack, so I tried some of them already. I actually bought this in February. So <laughs> I've been delaying this review for a long time, but here we go. Hmm. It's a good one. This water says that it is sourced from a government-protected aquifer in Maryland. It says Brickhouse Spring Water comes from the Cockyville Marble Aquifer, one of the highest quality calcium-rich high-end minerals bedrock aquifers in Maryland. So that's it's one of the best in Maryland. <laughs> it doesn't say one of the best in the United States. It doesn't say one of the best in the world. It says one of the best in Maryland. It's kind of funny. Um, this is not a very popular water, I don't think, because they've had a Facebook page for about two years, and they have about 91 likes after two years. So it's not super popular. And I don't even know if they make this size bottle anymore. So like I said, I bought this in February, and if you go to their website, they don't even show this bottle on the website anymore. If you go to their product list page, they show a three-gallon container, a five gallon container they don't even mention the bottle on their website slight like plasticky taste to it um but it's not horrible it's not horrible at all it's 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 an okay good water um next up is the simpson spring water this water is from massachusetts no it's not springfield massachusetts unfortunately. It makes sense because it's Simpson water. Um, so the Simpson company has been around since 1878. So it's no, it's not based on the show The Simpsons. It's not based on OJ Simpson. It's an entirely different Simpson. And it's not The Simpsons. It's just Simpson water. Let's taste it. Here we go. It's a good one. More of like an earthy, earthy taste to it. Less. This has more of like a chemically kind of taste. This has like an earthy, soily, sweeter taste to it. Um, I like that it has the. Actually, I don't really have a preference either way. But this has a tint to the bottle. This has just a clear bottle. I'm kind of indifferent to that, honestly, but I'm just going to point that out. It says, Simpson spring water comes from, one, naturally bubbling uh, spring set within a protected area of southeastern Massachusetts. There is only one spring, um, continually one source. The water is tested twice weekly by an outside lab and meets the highest quality standards for purity and refreshment. And it's Simpson Spring Water. This company originally made, I think they made soda first and then they 
added like sparkling water and then the spring water and um yeah this is the spring water this bottle really caught my eye just because of the name the simpsons um when i was a kid i was just a super uh, nerd for the simpsons show like they've been around for like, almost 30 seasons right um i've probably seen 90 percent of the episodes but when i was a kid the first 20 years i saw every single one multiple times you know when i was a kid i used a vcr and like manually recorded the shows like edited out the commercial breaks just so it would just be the show because this was before you know youtube and hulu and all the online stuff to watch the simpsons and before the dvds um i had like a stack probably this high just of simpsons episodes on vhs that i recorded off the tv and um I knew, you know, I just, I spent hours reading Simpsons trivia, knew all the actors' names and, um, just all the random facts. I would, like, pause the show on, on VHS and look at signs in the background and discuss the Simpsons online, like, in the late 90s, which is weird, because it, it just, the internet wasn't huge back then, but anyway, um, and just spend, you know, time reading Simpsons facts and trivia and stuff. I was a huge fan. Um, so I would kind of prefer this if, it, if the bottle was like all yellow and was actually uh, the Simpsons water, but that's, um, just a sidetrack. And then like later on after the Simpsons DVDs came out, I used to rent them from the library and like listen to all the DVD commentary for the Simpsons and like just fall asleep listening to DVD commentary of the Simpsons, probably for the first 15 seasons worth of episodes or something like that and there's actually some good funny moments in those commentary like Conan O'Brien shows up in the commentary and just, I, I think the show is almost better with the commentary because you have the jokes from the show and the jokes from the people commenting on it but um anyway let's get back to the water maybe I, I'm not even sure but maybe a slight fruit flavor to it like fruit uh like one drop of Kool-Aid was added to it or something like that. It almost tastes like that. Oh, shoot, you know what? I don't have much less left. We're going to have to do the um, pH test now. Here we go. Let's do the pH test. Okay, here's the results of the pH test. I am colorblind, so you guys look at the chart yourself and decide which color you think the pH level is. Sorry, I dropped some of the pH drops there. Uh, let me just cover that up. So it's Simpsons on the left, Brick House on the right. What color and number do you think it is? Okay. So if you're new to my videos, I want to clarify that the reviews are mainly based on the taste of the water. And I, I'm going to decide that the winner is the Simpsons water. I think it tastes better. Um, that's the main thing it comes down to. This has like a soily taste. This has like a chemically sort of a plasticky taste to it. The taste is mainly probably the um, type of bottles they use. I'm guessing this is just a higher quality bottle. It's my guess. I don't really know. The bottles look similar, but this one tastes better. The Simpsons water tastes better, so it's moving on to the next round. Um, that's it. Um, sorry it's been so long since I've done a review. It's been like over a month since I've done a water review. Um, yeah, I've been dating somebody, and um, they've been taking up a lot of my time, and just been busy with other stuff in my life. Um, I got a king bed now. I still have a full bed. I, I kind of re rearranged my room a little bit. Um, not much else going on in my life. Uh, what's new with you guys? What are you guys up to? Um, I still have a big stack of waters I need to review. I just um, been busy. I haven't had time to get around to them. But uh, congratulations, Simpsons Water. Simpson Water. You're moving on to the next round. Thanks for watching, everyone.